Welcome to Keep On Growing. I'm Mike Van Duzen. We're getting ready to clean up after the storm. So it passed by the west of us. You might still hear the wind howling. Most of the rain has stopped, but it's still really windy out there. And when that calms down, we'll get outside, maybe even tomorrow, and just clean up. We're okay, and, and thank you. Whenever I say there's a storm going by, all of you, you know, like wish me well, and and then everybody asks if I'm all right afterwards, and, and they're really concerned. So thank you very much. Um, we're we're just fine. Uh, just really windy, and, and the plants. We brought these in, but most of them we left outside just to see how they would do. And like I said in my last video, we're ready. You know, we've ate lettuce. We harvested. We harvested some off of it. Uh, we harvested a lot of the kale and we left some out there and just you know if it makes it through the storm and, and through the rest of this wind then we'll let it continue to grow and if not we've got plenty of microgreens ready to go we've got pak choy I got more basil and of course our favorite kale so we've got a whole lot more to go ahead and, and like I said this is just a continuous harvest thing where we just keep going over and over so we'll take you on a ride with us when we do that really quick I want to mention, you might know this shirt, one of uh, my friends on the internet that I met a while ago, probably like four years, um, asked us if we would show people a shirt and direct you to his website, which is called Beats for Hope, and um, uh, his wife recently passed away, and she was only 39 years old. This design was made in her honor, and all of the proceeds from these shirts and that are going to go to a local food bank out there and that's right up our alley right you know making sure everyone in the world gets fed so this is a touching story whenever i hear things like this it just makes me remember that you know life's short and we got to make the most of it when we're here and, and one way we can do that is helping others so if you all can just go check out the website it's called beats for hope i'll put a link down in the description it is a 50c3 nonprofit, and all of the profits are going towards the Alameda County uh, Community Food Bank. All right, so all these plants, like we said, the one beauty of the system is not only are we having a continuous harvest where we can do this over and over and over again, but when we do run into snags and little troubles and even storms and hurricanes, uh, one thing you can do is pick these up and just bring them inside. Or if they're outside, I've actually strapped some of these down. So I left those out there just so I could show you because some people asked about it. And I actually have just strapping that they use on chairs. It's cotton strapping. And I just took it and stapled the one end of the two by four, lift it around, stapled it to the front, and it holds on just fine. Now you may want to use these straps too if some of you out there can't find the three by four downspouts and you're asking if you can use the two by threes and I said that's what I started with and the only problems with that is they're a little thinner you get a little algae build up but another thing is once your plants start to grow tall like the pock choy stays kind of short right but if you're growing things like kale and mustard greens and once they start to grow tall the two by three, if you let the water get down a little low, then it gets top heavy and they like to tip. So you can use those straps to kind of strap them down. The only problem with it, if you want to move them around, then you're gonna to have to pull them off and all I do is just yank it up, come back with another staple, put another staple in. And it's real cheap strapping. I got like a spool of like 25 feet, you know, last a long while. Uh, those have been out there, I think almost two years now. So it's a good way just to keep these stabilized and it also helps if you have the neighborhood cat who likes to come by and push stuff off the shelves. It also keeps them up there and then he has a little tougher time doing that. So you can see a lot of the stuff out there got beat up. The lettuce is all beat up. Uh, it's still edible. You know, it's, it's not dead. So we're going to go out there, harvest some more, bring some more in. We'll have a few more salads. But we're actually going to go ahead and, and just change out the plants. Like I said, we've got more microgreens. And it's just a, a fun thing to do. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. You guys have seen me just, you know, clean these out. We just rinse them out, put new nutrients in, and just replace them with fresh microgreens and start the process all over again. So, thank you. Like I said, we're doing okay. We made it through the storm. Hopefully, there's no more. 
and we'll have a couple of months of good weather before the cold weather actually sets down here in Florida. All of you who are around the colder areas where it's already snowing, you know, uh, good luck on your indoor growing. You can always, you know, grow microgreens. You can definitely grow stuff like this. You guys have seen on my channel where we've grown like loads of lettuce with a couple of grow lights. And you guys, there's just so many ways that you can do this that you can be a little more self-sufficient, provide for yourself, grow some of your own food, live to inspire, keep on growing, pee the change. We'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.